the way Jay Prince Jr. just stepped over that body and walked away was real suspect. Somebody, hello? Hello? Duke the jeweler. Duke the jeweler just got murdered the same way around the same niggas. So now let me ask y'all a question because y'all know more than me, right? The trolls in the comment section. So the same crew killed Duke the jeweler. The same crew, the same circle. You don't think after dropping one body, a nigga sit up there and say, hey, yo, all right, that wasn't supposed to happen. You turn around and take off the Migos? Nigga murdered the Migos? I could only imagine how much that life, that life insurance policy is worth. I could only imagine dead rappers get better promotion. I could only imagine how much money they stand to make off of his music will own Quavo. Take off in Quavo. I could only imagine. I could only imagine how much money Q is going to make. Uncle Haas, you told me in a live one time, I see the snakes, I see the traps. Since then, my eyes been open. Let me tell you something, man. I got to constantly keep my eyes open. You know why? Because I represent success. And I realized that there was a lot of people that had their time. And when dudes had their time and that time runs out and they ain't got that shine no more. How to tell you what of the 48 laws of power never outshine the master. Well, none of these niggas is my master. But I am outshining niggas. And people don't like that. That's a different level of envy. Then you got to understand something too. No disrespect to take off Quavo or all the Migos, but them niggas is soft. I seen all three of them jump one of their bodyguards and couldn't even put a scratch on them. Them niggas is soft. So how you think niggas feel? Well, you got a soft nigga coming around you with a million dollars worth of jewelry on. How you think they feel? You got a soft nigga coming around you flexing. Them niggas don't respect them. I ain't accused nobody of nothing. What I said is something ain't right. Something ain't right. I ain't a stupid nigga. I ain't got to accuse nobody. I just point out what I see that's not making sense. A nigga hit, a nigga hit takeoff and, and, and left Jay Prince alive. Jay Prince stepped over the nigga body like he was trash. Jay Prince Sr. ain't say nothing about this. He put out an APB throughout New York City and told New York rappers that y'all better go get that chain. But ain't say nothing about that dead rapper that his son stepped over. Get out of my face with that, man. That's why we not on, we can't, we like, we, we, we would never be on the same level and never see eye to eye. Because y'all don't know how to move in these streets, man. Remember, I'm the nigga that everybody told, right? That everybody told y'all, they convinced y'all. Hassan Campbell can't come outside. I even listened to Charleston White Punk ass say that. Who told this bitch ass nigga that I can't come outside? You don't see me dialing the police. I dropped my address and went live, promoted a party for a whole month. With everybody threatening me, we better not see this nigga outside. Ain't nobody show up. The internet trying to convince you that I was soft. Not realizing that I am the most dangerous nigga out of my circle. For years. I've been on this internet for years. Y'all ain't never seen a nigga smack me. When you see me going to shopping areas, I'm absolutely by myself. I don't travel with my children unless I'm taking them somewhere in a secluded area. I don't travel with my children because I realize how real, how real shit get in the streets. 
You think I'm just going to sit there and let a nigga take my life? Nigga, biggest mistake was he checked in. And the same niggas he checked in with checked him out. The nigga got hit by his own security. His security allegedly came from who? Jay Prince. His security hit him. How you mistakenly hit your man that you supposed to be bodyguarding and you supposed to be a secu security? You shoot him? Like, come on, man. Y'all fall for anything. Y'all don't know how to put the pieces to the puzzle together. He got murdered by a security guard. Allegedly. The nigga that was supposed to be bodyguarding him is the nigga that shot him. The nigga that hired the security to protect him, who invited him to the place that he was at, stepped over his body like he was nothing. Damn, y'all dumb. Dumb. The niggas is dumb. No, I'm not falling for the banana in the tailpipe. Not me. Not Wanda, son. Come on, man. See, I got to slow down. I got to hit the brakes. I got to slow down so you can catch up. He got hit by his security guard. From what they say, his security guards came from Jay Prince. Jay Prince Jr. stepped over his body like it was nothing. Cold bloody. He pulled the Rocky on him. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> Take the what and leave the what? Guess what? Him dead. Mm -hmm. Him dead. He dead. They hit who they wanted to hit. He was a sacrifice on a Halloween night. Satan came to collect the soul. That was a hit. That was a hit. And the sad part about it is when you get the industry hits like that, you never see an arrest really being made. Nobody was arrested for killing Big. Nobody was arrested for killing Pac. I don't think y'all understand, man. The industry have a hit squad of elite street dudes, too. The industry has murderers that's in the streets, too. Look what happened to Tupac.